Okay, so Namaste. Namaste everybody. First of all, I just come to you real quick with a real quick um art gallery because uh and then I'm gonna have a succession of some videos um coming at you. I've been saving up. I've been saving up, saving up my uh thoughts from spirit. I'm having a little hard time, but I just want to show you uh I'm reading off a card. What I heard was the first chakra, a lot of people are having trouble with the first chakra, red root chakra, we call it. Um, the root chakra is near the sacral coccyx joint in the bottom of the spine, okay? Um, what does it regulate? It regulates the lower back, adrenal glands, the blood skeleton, the feet, knees, hips, teeth, nails, rectum, and spine. The physical stability, security, self-sufficiency, responsibility for self. Okay, that sounds like a lot, right? Okay, I'm just getting... Hi, hi, namaste. If this is your first day with me, I'm Mystic Brady. How are you? Um, I got my glasses on, so I'm trying to look intelligent. <laughs> no, I'm trying to see these little words on these cards. Okay, so some of my cards have gone missing, which I'm sad about. I haven't found the cards that go with this, um, which are angel and ancestors. So I guess God doesn't want me to use those cards right now, which is okay. What I'm looking for right now are my chakra cards so that I could tell you Hold on a second, guys. We're, we're never organized over here. But I was doing my usual procrastination. I only have one cup of coffee. I was doing my usual procrastination, right? Getting things set up. I have notes in my book for days and days, okay? Um, I'm well rested. Every day I get... Lots of sleep, um, too much sleep probably, and I have nightmares, so I don't know why I try to get lots of sleep. Sorry about the chin. Spirit tells me not to worry about it, but <laughs> I am a physical being, so that probably didn't even make it better. I use this crystal for a lot of, on a lot of pieces of artwork. Okay, so anyhow. I was told to come on, even if it's just for five minutes, and show you a couple pieces of artwork. But before I show it to you, I want to read you something about the Red Root Chakra, besides what I just read to you. Where did I put that card? It's right over there. No problem, no problem. The Base Chakra. If your Red Root Chakra is out of whack, your back will give you problems. Even your neck will give you problems. Anything connected to your spine will give you problems. You will feel like um, you don't have a pot to piss in, to be blunt. Um, you don't feel safe if your Red Root Chakra is out of, out of uh, balance or off balance. So, that's why I'm just going to read you a little bit about it okay so your first the first chakra is the base chakra which I call red root chakra okay wearing red eating red things red foods like peppers and a red beet juice is really good you can get a beet juice that doesn't taste bad um, I used to have Devon on it um, put it in your water bottle shake it up um, there's all different ways. Wearing red is the easiest way. Looking at red, painting a canvas red. If you can't get near paints, then just um, pick a flower that is red and really stare at it. Um, sorry about my iPad. It's been turned off since my trip, so a bunch of stuff is going to come in. Um, okay, so I know that my... Here's an affirmation for the Red Root Chakra. Watching Jason Stevenson... Um, for the red root chakra and or any any meditation music where there's the music it's subliminal messages that they'll put in there and um it's really really good 
So that's just one way of, of doing it. So it has to do with independence. So you say, oh, it's annoying, AF. All right, so you might say, I want to stand up. I was just told, stand up. Okay, so independence. I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities I participate fully in. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. Okay? You rescue yourself. You make plans to rescue yourself. But I don't have any money. But I don't have any clothes. But I don't have this. I don't have that. There's ways of helping yourself. Remember, God helps those who helps them help themselves. And also, of course, you pray. All right? But you don't just sit there and wait to be handed something on a silver platter, like an apartment or a house or um, good health. You have to work at it. Okay? So... My, I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for, and I pursue it. Nobody could do it for you. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. I am not a victim. I am strong. Okay. By finding material security, this is self-sufficiency, also read. Uh, first chakra, base chakra. By finding material security without being materialistic, I will gain satisfaction, stability, and inner strength. I am resourceful. I put in the effort to be responsible for supplying fundamental needs in my life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing, the basic necessities. If you're not doing that, you have to work towards it, okay? I've lived on people's couches before, okay? I have not known where I was gonna get my next meal. So I made my, when I was in college, my mother died and I was basically living on couches and then I had my own apartment, ran out of money in three months because I was going to school and I only had a part-time job, so I just used all the money that I had in the bank, which wasn't much, okay? So what I did was, I was like, I can't have three meals a day, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have one meal a day and make that meal a good one. So it would be at the diner that was right near school, and sometimes I would bring my own tea bag so that I could just save uh, 50 cents for the hot, uh, just get the hot water for a dime and save 50 cents and then know that I can get some coffee later because I loved coffee and, and tea. But anyhow, I, I lived on cereal. I lived on, um, you know, sparse pa pasta, raviolis, um, things that weren't that expensive. Anyhow, well, one meal a day is not good enough, right? But I did it. Uh, I got through it, okay? Um, I am resourceful. And I put the effort into being responsible for supplying fundamental needs in my life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. Very important. I take responsibility for where I am now, where and now I find myself in life as I move forward. I take responsibility for where I now find myself in life as I move forward. I get in touch with and trust my in innate wisdom which tells me that I will be provided with all I need I get in touch with trust my and I trust my innate wisdom which tells me that I will be provided with all I need okay now I'm gonna switch over to show you some red things to look at as you listen to my voice it might be helpful it might not but I always hope, I'm always hopeful. Okay. This is building a strong foundation. 
building a strong foundation. I create stability and security by ad adequately providing myself with the basic needs of a healthy life, such as shelter. Such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. I use my creativity to build a strong foundation as this is an essential key to my survival and growth. The more inner and outer stability I have, the more grounded and fulfilling my life will become. The more inner and outer stability I have, the more grounded and fulfilling my life will become. I respect myself and I take care of my physical body by nurturing and nourishing. My body tells me what it needs. Okay. And the reason why I'm showing you these red paintings is because they I create my paintings for healing. That was my whole premise of making art since the 90s, maybe the late 80s as well. Um, my collage art is for to touch upon sensitivities and also your chakras. And it seems like very simple. Oh, I'm going to look at a painting and, and feel healed. Well, just talk to the people that I've sold my artwork to and ask them if it helps them. Okay, I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know that I what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life very important find out what makes you happy and how you can help people doing that same thing that makes you happy I have an innate desire to be of service in life as I tap into this feeling I will know what service I am called to do I believe in myself. I believe in myself. You have to believe in yourself. That's the first step. You have to take care of yourself and then you could take care of others after that. You have to get your own glass of water and your shirt and pants on. Okay? And a little bit to eat and some sort of shelter before you can help anybody else. Okay. I believe in myself. Responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by cons consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me for being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excesses and overindulgences as I forgive myself for the past indiscretions. Yes, we have to forgive ourselves for past indiscretions. We all do it. We all make mistakes. We're going to continue making mistakes as long as we're human. But sometimes we learn from those mistakes. And we say our sorry, we say, like my mom used to say, say you're sorry to God, and then say you're sorry to yourself, and feel the forgiveness from God, and then also forgive yourself, and move on. Period at the end of the sentence. I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time. I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time.
responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all I do. We are all accountable. We can't say, oh, you know what? I don't have a shirt because somebody stole my other shirt. So I just sat here naked. Or I don't have any food to feed my family because, you know, somebody stole it. Maybe somebody did steal it. Or maybe a husband or a wife ran out on you and didn't provide and help you with the whole system of a family. But you have to do it yourself. You have to take responsibility for what you have in life, what you, what you made in life. If you want to make something better and brighter, then you have to do it. And know that you can do it. Feel the red energy. Feel the red energy. Okay. Sorry about that annoying sound. And there was also one other thing. I don't know if I can find it because whenever I try to look for things, then they're not here. Mm -hmm. This might be good enough. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm like on a tear about this, but... It said you I was looking at my artwork. I was looking around and they said a lot of people, Katrina, I was like, who's talking? <laughs> like a lot of people are having trouble with their red root chakra. And I was like, who said that? <laughs> so they go, you know who said it. Okay, so courage and faith. The first chakra, again, the base chakra, courage and faith. I embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. A lot of people are afraid of the future. I am too. It's a scary friggin' world we're living in. Okay, but we, we have to turn that off and know and have faith in humanity, faith in God, of course, and faith in ourselves. Red Root Chakra, faith in yourself that we're going to somehow get through it, okay? There's diseases out there, there's illnesses, there's health problems, uh, people losing money left and right, people losing jobs, people losing vehicles, uh, people losing homes. But you know what? We have to keep on trucking and know that maybe tomorrow will be better and we're working towards that. Like this angel is, is taming the lion, She's gaining strength at the same time. And notice the red, the glazed red. I work very hard on it to get a certain color and to make it shine so that you could touch it. All my stuff you could touch, even Olivia. She has a little redness in her, but she's mostly fuchsia. But everything is touchable. Even if it's many layers thick, it's touchable. Even Tommy Extra. Okay. So, sorry about that. Um, I embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed. They are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open the possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior not a warrior. I embrace the warrior. Somebody was just telling me that they are a warrior, and I know they are. Um, I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I love that. I am not a victim. Let's say that. I am not a victim. I am a survivor. Look at all you have survived to through up until this point if you are alive listening to my video right now you are a survivor because many things has have happened to you okay you clicked on this video for a reason you saw red root chakra and you're like ah, what is Katrina doing now or you didn't know me but you knew that you needed to see something red and it it just grabbed your eye it just grabbed your eye because your body will call the colors to heal yourself with. Your body will call them to you. Try 
trust and believe. I've, I've studied it. I've studied it for many years. And there is an answer. Somebody out there was like, is, I, I don't think there's an answer. Or is there an answer? And I'm telling you right now. I hear you that you said that question. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, t I'm told to tell you, yes, there is an answer to your problem. There is an answer to your fear. There is an answer, a way of fixing or helping yourself to be healthier and to feel better and to be in a better relationship and to have a better home for you and your children or even just for yourself. Okay. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a worrier. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forward. I fear, I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forward. Okay. Okay, so just one other thing. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I look like a hot mess, but I did put my a new outfit on today. Instead of my usual white pants, um, uh, I I was feeling purple as usual, um, but I just heard you got to before you do anything with Dylan Round Summer. Uh, Anybody else that I'm thinking about saying something about or doing a read on, they said you have to do this. So, okay. If you're suffering from, say, I feel like I'm a commercial. Okay. If you don't believe me, okay. I have a folder and tri folder that I got from uh, Flyer B as well that has all sections and. I have folders that are for root chakra. Then I have two folders that are crown chakra, um, which I was surprised at, that I would have so much stuff on that. Uh, heart chakra, I have another two. Blue, all the chakras I have a folder on. I have notes on, that are handwritten, because I, I like, that's how I can research things. I have to write it out in my own hand. I have to read it, write it out in my own hand, listen to videos, write things down. That's how I do. That's my process. Okay. So, what does it mean? Red root chakra. Having red foods. Red, um, drinks. Red, uh, just don't make them cosmos. Okay, because <laughs> just a little. Okay. Um, if you're having any trouble with your sciatica, that's that, that nerve that runs from your back, buttocks, all the way down your your thigh to your leg through your leg and you'll feel like somebody is you know stabbing you in the you'll know it you'll know it um it means that something is at fear in your body and you're all scrunched up you need more pleasure um so sciatica hypertension impotence impot impotence colitis eating disorders Feeling abandoned, prostate issues in men, depression, check please, anxiety, check please, Fear, fearfulness, guilt, and resentment, okay? Things that are good for it is red, wearing red, red underwear, red shorts, red pants, okay? You might feel weird wearing it, but I even got my husband to do it. And he does feel better. And I have a few of my friends doing it. Like sometimes Ruby will say, my back hurts, but I'm wearing red pants. So what's happening? Okay. And I'm like, don't worry. Keep on wearing them. I'll get, get, get a couple more pairs and wear them or wear the red underwear, or red shorts, whatever you have to do. Um, but what helps it? Another thing that helps it is stretching walking if you walk like see my daughter's a big walker she'll walk for miles and miles and she got sciatica okay but she, she needed to do more stretching 
okay and also there was things out of balance in her life and maybe she was having fear she wasn't telling me because she's Scorpio okay they're not gonna tell you all right so um you know I told her about the red pants and everything but it's all about the spine will go out of whack when you feel emotionally um, nobody's emotionally securing you um, you feel abandoned financially um, that's usually the middle of the back um, the top of the back to the neck is a whole other ball game but it has the same thing to do with anything with the spine so yoga dancing walking definitely stretching after you do anything in the morning you have to pull your leg even if you're just laying in bed pull your leg and hug it and the other leg is straight pull your leg to you your chest and hug it keep the other one straight you can even make little circles with the other one you're stretching out that whole area you could do it on the floor if you want to but um, do before you get out of bed do the stretches okay if you went on a walk or you exercised, you got to do the stretches, okay? Yoga, dancing, chores around the house. See, chores around the house work, but then make sure that you do the rag doll where you try to just put your head to your chest and touch your toes. If you can't do it standing up, do it sitting in a chair. De definitely are chair exercises. For people who have spine injuries, bending forward. Okay, just do it slowly. Every day you'll get further and further and touch your toes. Um, I do the frog. The frog is you actually squat like a frog. Your legs are out and you hold on to your two toes. That stretches your whole spine. Okay, I wish I could show you. Maybe sometime I could set up my camera and show you these weird positions. But I'm not a doctor. I just play one on YouTube. A medical healer. No, I'm kidding. Um... But anyway, guilt and resentment, if you hold that in, that will be displayed as a red root chakra um, imbalance. Okay, so we got to get the guilt. Guilt is a useless. Guilt, jealousy, and resentment, they're all useless emotions that have poison in them. Okay, so get rid of the guilt. Stop feeling bad about something you did in the past or somebody did something to you and made you feel guilty about it. It's garbage. Take a piece of paper, roll, write guilt on it, or write down whatever happened, roll it up, rip it up, roll it up into a ball, burn it, or just throw it away. But throw it out of your house, okay? A lot of people like to burn it, um, but I've done it, wrote it down on a piece of paper, went like this, got it all out, get it all out. Get it all. It's garbage. It's in, in, in garbage. Get it out. Okay? God doesn't want you to have fear, resentment, guilt. He says, not my child. He makes you clean again. Okay? But you have to accept that. Okay? Um, yeah. Okay, so that, that one was done. Sorry, I spent too long on that piece of paper. Okay. All right, so how many minutes? 26 minutes, that's too much, but this might help somebody. Okay, so I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me. This is really important. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words, okay? I rise above excesses and, oh, all right, I read that already. See, what I do is I write them out. I write them out from the cards, and then I, if you buy um, a something that has red in it, oh, there was one I didn't show you. I'm going to show it to you. Um, if you buy something that has red in it, then I give you the paperwork for it. The affirmations, the healing affirmations. I create stability and security by adequately providing myself with the basic needs of a healthy life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. 
Okay, and I, I'm pretty sure I've read that. Why is the crown chakra in with my red root chakra? Because all the chakras are very, very close to each other. But I like to deal with them separately. And then if you buy something that has different colors in it, I always give you all of the indications. Okay, let me just show you the last picture and then we're going to be outy. Because what I really wanted to do was Dylan Rounds. Yeah, remember my clown posse angel? She has red and yellow. I was told to do red and yellow because yellow is for the solar plexus and red root chakra is the first one for our basic instinct. And she's all the way up there. But she's very beautiful. And she even has a red cloak underneath her yellow and white cloak. And it's all, everything is all made for you to touch and breathe in red energy. I don't know, is this still thing, is this still going? I think it is. Okay, anyhow. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, I love you all. I just want to let you know what was coming up. Um, but this was like, you have to do, I, I just sit here in my room like this. I look around. And I think about what is needed. And I know I'm not wearing red. So I, I do what I was needing. And a lot of times I pick pink because pink relaxes me, um, and pink is the heart chakra, um, forgiveness and love. Uh, pink goes with green, because green is the, it represents the heart chakra for the lungs and the heart and breast, um, but also for forgiveness and love and bringing love to you. But I wasn't feeling pink, I was feeling purple, so that's third eye. Because I'm hard on myself and I'm like, I gotta get these readings out. I have notes. Oops, I got lots of notes. But I got it on other pages, but I have my crystals here because I just sit. My process is to sit. So I just wanted to tell you why am I putting the goofy glasses back on. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that I am coming out with some messages about Dylan. Um, you know, I promised you that, but I couldn't get in a quiet space. Everybody was home. I didn't want to go in the car. I didn't want to go in the garage because it was just ungodly hot. Uh, hello, it's Texas. All right. So it's, it's the only time it's not hot is when it's the fall and almost winter. That's when it's not hot. And you actually, you know, wear. So anyhow. Now I'm just rambling on, so I will come back with my other reads. I thought this was going to be five minutes. I honestly did, but, you know, tension horror over here. All right, so hopefully you listen to it, and um, if you're wondering what the music is, it's Third Eye opening Jason Stevenson because I was opening up my third eye to uh, go to do my prayers, and then I was going to do the Dylan rounds, but... Spirit said, red root chakra. You got to do the red root chakra. I was like, when? After I do the Dylan rounds, they said, oh, no, now, now. And I was like, what about all the other artwork I'm trying to sell? And they're like, don't worry about it. But worry about the red root chakra. Somebody out there needs it. And it's not even like, usually like I'll have a backache or a hip ache and I'll be like, maybe I should be talking about the red root chakra. And looking at my red root pictures and and but I don't have a backache right now okay I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty I, everything's okay health wise right now oh you wanted to see my pants okay I'll show them to you I'll show them to you Woo! Woo! I gotta get out of here. I gotta take a walk, I think. I'm gonna take a healing walk. I have errands to do, guys. I, I do have errands to do, but 
now that I had a quiet moment, I, and I told Devin, I said, don't talk to me for a while. He was like, why? I go, I'm going in to do a reading. And he was like, okay. And I was like, no, really, don't come in there to go on your computer. Don't talk to me because I got, I haven't done a reading. And it's bubbling up. It's coming up. It's going to, I'm going to throw it up. Okay. Anyhow, the more I'm talking, the frizzier my hair is getting. I don't know why. Anyway, just ignore me. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to upload this first before Dylan. Because uh, I can't tell you the future, even though I am a psychic. I, I, I'll probably put this on hold and then do the Dylan thing and then decide which one's going to upload. Because you can't upload them both at the same time. I've done that. It screws up your phone. Okay. Sorry, I have such a nut. Uh, I only had a half a cup of coffee and that's probably the problem. Could that be any colder? Could that, that was like iced coffee in that glass. Why is everything getting cold in here? Spirit, are you in here? I got my crystals ready. But I didn't say my prayers yet, so give me a chance. Okay, guys, let me go so I can prepare myself for the Dylan. And um, I have some things to say about summer, but I never know if I'm going to put it in one video. I might. I might put in one video. Yeah, because there's been a lot of stuff coming up about summer. So you might see Dylan Rounds slash Summer Moon. Um, Whether it's the leaders who inspire oh, you. Okay, love gotta go. Love, love you. Love 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 you. Love Namaste. Namaste. Peloton offers thousands of yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Motivation that moves you. A thousand Peloton apologies. No, red moves chakra. Get your red pants on.